yeah, I've just watched the end. Well, I say the end, but I've, you've just caught me watching the end of the Dark Knight Rises trailer. Now, I've got a theory on the film, the plot and such. Um, but before I get on to that, um, the trailer itself, there has been, you know, some analyzing done by Empire Movie Magazine and if you look if you click the link below you'll be able to see you know their take on the actual trailer they break it down into seven, 16 parts and pretty much lay it out for you um, one of the couple of things that stood out for me was one of where um, there's one with the Robin logo um, or at least the, someone holding a card with the letter R that looks similar to Robin but however it's actually done by an extra okay now think about it an extra goes into it's going to be on a film um, as big as Batman what are you going to do of course you're going to make something that's going to stand out and in this case he does this poster that looks like an R signifies Robin but as Nolan has already stressed Robin is not going to be in the film so it's just an extra don't take don't read too much into that bit okay um, <clears throat> another section um, in the uh, in the trailer is where we see a tray with uh, like a dish cover and you see a reflection of, of someone walking towards it with a walking stick but if you look closely it's Bruce Wayne now the reason I say it's Bruce Wayne there is because later on in the trailer we actually see that he is um, again um sort of on walking on like with with a walking stick and it's just be before um they're talking about Jim Gordon being dropped by the mayor and you see a shadow sort of walking past the balcony um above above the balcony and again you kind of take a glimpse you see a glimpse of him walking with the walking stick now this is where my theory comes in regarding the story okay we've got bane we've got catwoman but let's look at bane all right the reason why we've got bane in this character in this movie if you've read the nightfall series you will know that that is the story of where bane breaks batman's back okay now the major thing that you've got to remember about the dark knight rises is that this film takes place eight years eight years after the events of the dark knight okay so what happened what has happened in those eight years who knows okay my theory is this going off what i've read of the nightfall series um you know bane probably somehow has escaped prison um, if you've seen the prologue, you'll you'll see that he's uh, well. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say much about the prologue. I don't want to spoil it for those who haven't seen it. But if you've seen the prologue, you already pretty much know how we're introduced to in, to Bane. But if you go back to the teaser trailer, there's a there's a there's a section of where you see someone crawling out of a hole. Okay, again, that same hole is featured in this trailer, whereby there's a series of bad guys coming down this hole. Um, Empire believe it's to do with the Batcave. I don't think so. I think it's more to do with the prison of where I think at this point Bruce Wayne is in this prison because it looks like a prison of some sort. Um, and as I say, the story the, for me, as I say, what what happens in those eight years? Well, what if Batman and Bane have already had an encounter previously, and at some point during those eight years, or at least sometime. In, in those eight years you know um, Bruce is recuperating he's gone into hiding um, he's recovering you know there's there's a section with Alfred saying how you know he's as important Bruce is as important to him as he was to his parents and he swore that he was going to take good care of him and he hasn't um, so Alfred kind of feels like he's failed as Bruce's guardian to look after him and to look out for him so again as I say if you also remember in Nightfall you've got Bane working behind the scenes getting all the Arkham prisoners out and making Batman work tirelessly to put all the bad guys back into Arkham to the point of where he's so exhausted that that is when Bane attacks him um, so are we going to see a reversal are we going to see Bane already damaging Batman and Bruce goes into hiding then Bane 
pretty much tackles Gotham, brings down Gotham, he brings it down into like ashes and whatnot. Um, he gets all the prisoners out. He runs riots across Gotham. I mean, look at what look at the video. If you look at the trailer with the football stadium, for heaven's sake, that signifies his intent of his power and how much destruction he wants to cause to Gotham. Um, so, you know, like I said, we're going to see a reversal. Is it going to be that Bane's already damaged Batman? Bruce Wayne has gone into hiding. He's recuperating, recovering, all that sort of stuff. And then, you know, look at the second poster that they released. It pretty much said the legend ends, but the film, the title itself says the Dark Knight Rises. Okay, so you know, you look at the slogan saying the legend ends, the epic conclusion to Christopher Nolan's Batman trilogy, but the title itself, the Dark Knight Rises, will signify some sort of up uprising by Batman to eventually take down Bane. And that is pretty much a similar thing of what happens in Nightfall. Okay, um, you know, Batman, Bruce Wayne is so broken, he's he's damaged, he's got to recuperate, but someone else takes up the mantle in his place. Now, in Nightfall, it's a character by the name of Azrael, who eventually damages Bane. He actually goes beyond what Batman would have done against Bane. Um, I don't think we're going to see that here, but... Um, you know, characters, obviously you've got Selena Kyle in there as well, you've also got Miranda Tate play, played by Marion Cotillard and um, Joseph Gordon-Levitt playing a police officer, um, again his his character's a mystery. Um, even in the teaser you had Jim Gordon in hospital and don't forget where you know he's telling Bruce that the Batman needs, you know, has to, has to, has to come back, Bruce is saying well what if he doesn't exist anymore? You know, so you've got to look at all of the, all those things. You put them together, and you say to yourself, right, somewhere in, in those eight years, Bane has done something to Batman, possibly done something to Batman. I'm not saying that that is the case, but that's my theory. You know, in the prison, for example, where you've got Bruce laying down, pretty much bloodied, and there's Bane standing above him, saying, "When Gotham is in ashes, you have my permission. You have my permission to die." You know, so. Could that have taken some place some point in those eight years? Is it after those eight years? Who knows? But that's my theory. As I say, I'm going along what I've read in Nightfall. Let me know what you think, okay? Just judging by the trailers and what we've sort of heard and the characters and things that you've seen, certain, yeah, just let rip, basically. But that's my theory. If you've read Nightfall, you'll probably know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't read Nightfall, it's a three-part graphic novel. I suggest you get that and you read it. I mean, think about it. Batman Begins was based off Batman Year One. The Dark Knight was pretty much based on the Long, Long Halloween. I've yet to read that, even though I've already got the Absolute Edition, but I'm going to get the trade paperback and read that as extensively as possible. Um, but the, the Dark Knight is based on both... Killing Joke and um, The Long Halloween. Um, Killing Joke regarding The Joker and I think The Long Halloween regarding Harvey Dent. Um, someone actually told me on YouTube um, earlier this week or last week even. And and then the way I see it, The Dark Knight Rises has to, you know, f somehow will follow the plot of Nightfall. Um, so yeah, that's my theory. Let me know what you think of it. Um, yeah go for it as I say um, click the link at the bottom for Empire's like trailer breakdown and then you'll kind of see where, where where we're kind of going but I can't wait bring on July 20th 2012 people 2012 hurry up I mean I know we're like two weeks away from 2012 but I want it to be July 20th 2012 if you know what I mean anyway thank you all for watching as always it has been fun bye